Romans chapter 1 verse 21 through 22. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Shalom. When the Medes went down, all right? When the Medes went down, when the Persians went down, all right? When the Greeks went down, when the Romans went down, all right? They always have secular history that's outside the Bible to prove that, all right? Yeah, but you're still walking. Hey, you know what it say? It says the righteous stand bold as the light, but the wicked flee when nobody can sue it. See, see, you get down the street talking. Come on, come on, come down. Come on, come on, come on. Let's talk, let's talk. Don't be afraid. It's just the Bible, man. Come on. Let's talk. What you want to talk about? What are you talking about? Okay, so what's the so what's the exactly this is the light right here. So, okay. So what's your so what's your what, what's your gripe? What's your gripe? Uh, right, let's stand over here because we want to spend time. What's your gripe? Uh -huh. So, so what were you saying when you walked by? You was right here. Oh, you're talking about Old Testament law. We're talking about the scripture, period. Okay. So what do you believe in? Uh, what do I believe in? Yeah. The Most High King. Okay. Only one true God. Okay, what's his name? Can you give me, can you give me his name is Yahweh. Hey, Yahweh? Okay. So with that being said, you say Yahweh, we say Yahweh. According to the Bible, according to the Bible, it's not the same name. Yahweh and Yah Yahweh don't sound the same. Tomato, tomato. Exactly. So, so with that being said, if your name is Joseph, right, and I called you Jose, would you turn around and answer me? Yes. No, you wouldn't, because your name is Jose. Exactly. Oh, you're one of those slide devils. Okay, so you're a, you're an Edomite, right? No. So I'm agnostic. You're agnostic. That's it. So you so agnostic mean without no, no. agnostic mean without knowledge. I'm agnostic. What's agnostic? Agnostic mean without knowledge. That's the etymology of agnostic. Oh, you're agnostic. Agnostic. Knowledge of what God? Though? Right. What is the Gnostics? Knowledge of what God is, right? You say Yahweh, right? Can you give me um, Psalms 147, 19? Okay, we're going to go to the Bible. So you know, It's not about you and me. That's let's, right. let's see That's who right. the Bible was written for. You can, you let's can see debate, the but there is no division. No, it, listen, That's there right. is a division. There is a division. There is a division. There is a division. Well, if you believe in 147, scripture, 19. There is no hey, back up, man. Back up, dude. Yeah, that was back, up. back up. I thought you were a religious okay. man. Okay. You have a lot of mercy, okay. man. Okay. Okay, but anyway, yeah, I tell you, it's kind of a little racist. Bit. So the Psalms 147 and 19, he showed his word unto Jacob. Say, I'm the so he showed his word. He showed his word. Don't tell me to shut he up. He his I'm word American. unto Jacob, all right? Go ahead. His statutes and his judgment unto Israel. So the law, statutes, and commandments were given to Israel. Go ahead. Verse 20. He have not dealt so with me, oh, any other you. nation. Right. He has not dealt so with any other nation. Go ahead. As for his judgment, they have not known them. Uh -huh. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So the Lord said the laws, that's the commandments, will only give us the nation of Israel. See, if I don't understand his judgment, then I don't know them. Because you're not of the nation of Israel. Exactly. Well, of course, so you I'm don't not know the 12 tribes. It, it, that's I'm my not point. That's, that's my point. That's, you know that's only that's what your for, witness. All right. You give me Revelation 7. All right. That's your so witness. once again, so once again, you, you believe in the Bible, right? It. So what in the Bible hey, exactly brother, do you believe? You, know, you said the right word. Okay. Okay. That's what the Bible the do you believe? The witnesses. Uh, uh, my king came and died for my sins, rose again. Give me Acts 5 and 29. Okay. So we, we, we go to the Bible. You know, because everybody, ha we all have our own belief. There's nothing wrong with that. But when okay. it's thus say it's the Lord, we really can't go against that, neither right. you or me. So we're just going to go to the Bible. Like I say, it's not really an argument. It's more like yeah. a, you're getting a better understanding. All right. Yeah, yeah. Acts 5 and 29, please. I have a master's in theology. That's beautiful. Theology goes back to a thesis, like hypothesis, with an opinion. The, Let's deal with the facts. Countries. Let's deal with the facts. Stood in the, this is Acts 5 and 29. Acts 5 and 29. Acts 5 and 29. Acts 5 and 29. Right? Acts 5 and 29. Uh -huh. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. So, regardless of what you say, what I say, no, no, no. it's what the Bible says, that's right? right? Okay, so let's go. I'm going to say that. That's the truth. Let's go ahead. Verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah. So it said the God of their father, reading verbatim, uh, the God of their father who was, this is Peter speaking right here. All right. So before that, they told Peter, did we, not tell you, did we not tell you to prophesy in They're their name? All right. God doesn't go after those. So with that being yeah, said, so with that being said, that was Peter talking. Right? Be well, Peter just said, Peter just said, no, they told Peter, we told you not to prophesy in that name. Say? Okay. Read that again. Read again. Read again. Acts 5 and 29. Acts 5 and 29. Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter said unto, then Peter said unto Peter, the apostles, and said unto we, slow down. Are, are to obey rather than. Read it again. Slow down. Slow down. Read it again. 
Acts no, 5, what, 30? I know. It's, it's just little spirits around, that's all. There's actually 5 yeah. and 30, Richard right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's Acts 5 and 30. Mm -hmm. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. So Peter said, the God of our father raised up Jesus. That's what the world called him, like Jesus, right? All right, but it's your Shai. Go that's ahead. That's what that version Go calls it. That's why I said the world. So so it's it's the world. The world. Okay. The world. Hey, call hey, that. We call him Yahweh Shai. We call him Yahweh Shai. Go ahead up. Whom you slew and hang on the tree, right? The Messiah. Verse 31. Uh -huh. Him had God exalted uh -huh. with his right hand to be a prince uh -huh. and a savior for his repentance of Israel and forgiveness of the sins. So repentance for Israel. Right? And the forgiveness of sin. So with that being said, he only died for Israel. No, he's for not their sins. His okay. Yeah, his, people. Watch Israel. Israel. Him. his people. Yeah, you his don't give people a right? chance to speak. No, no. Go to Joel 2 and 27. You don't give people, people, people to speak. Okay. Joel 2 and 27. Okay. The bosom of Abraham, That's his right. seed line. His seed line. Right. Everyone that comes from Abraham. Everyone had a brother. So if Lot was his nephew, how can everybody come from the same seed of Abraham? Good. You have a good point there. If God created Adam and Eve at Cain and Abel, then who's the land of Nod that he was cast to? That goes to show you that there was more than one set of people on because the land during that time. Ah, going back to Abraham, going back to Ham, going back to Ham, Shem, and Jephthah. Ham, Shem, and Jephthah, right? No, it's, 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 Ham, Shem, and Jephthah, right? Shem, and Jephthah, right? Shem, and Jephthah, right? Going back to Ham, Shem, and Jephthah. He's always on the street. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Don't be, don't be so mean. He's all right. Sir, we've done this for years. That's why I just ignore him. Uh, he's, he's fine. Oh, he he, 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 he don't mean he's a wrong. man of God. He doesn't mean God ignores me. Right? I'm not God. So, you're a man of God. So, you ignore me. So, now you're ignoring me because you're a man of God. All right. So, now with that being said, now that being said, we read Psalms 147.19. When it said, when it said, when it said, when it said his word was given to Jacob, he didn't do with no other nation. So when it said he died for Israel, he didn't die for the other nation for their sins. What is sin according to the Bible? First John 1 and 3. First John 1 and 3. Yep. What is sin according to the Bible? What's sin according to the Bible? The, Mr. Theology major, what's sin according I don't to have the Bible? Sin okay, so let's find let's find so at one point I didn't know. Just so, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Just this is first, okay, first John 3 and 4. This is going to tell you what sin is according to the Bible. Go ahead. You said first John 3 and 4. First John three and four. Bible. This is first John three and four. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. So whoever committed sin transgressed the law. Now the law was only given to Israel. That means that, that hold on, wait a minute. It said it said that transgress sin is transgression of the law. Hey, so we read right. Psalm one forty seven. Hey, you know what? Nineteen. Yeah, but he read Psalm 147, 19, right? Yeah, and it said the law was only given to Jacob. So he said, Join, try to write it. It's only Israel that committed sin. Even Adam sinned when he died. See, Jacob, when the apple, he gave it to Adam. So they sinned. You know, it's just such a. Hey, I just got you in the crap joint. Let's get to the toilet. Specifics are tough. And this is semantics. You were reading no, that language. You know what? Spiritual any translation at all. That's, that's so Adam and Eve were the first sinners on the word. planet. I do. So if, Otherwise, you, believe, so if you believe to be God's word, word, if you believe if you believe to be God's word, right? right. How are we using semantics when all of our answers come from the Bible when you haven't brought out one verse, sir? Well, you haven't asked. You well, you can rebut. I don't know. You, just listen. No, you can rebut. But hold on. The scripture says, "Debate thy cause with thy neighbor." So at at the same time. If you read first first Thessalonians 5 and 21, if you read first Thessalonians 5 and 21, it says prove all things. All of our proofs coming from the Bible. That's right. You say you're a theology right. major. Oh, We're I, going oh, back to masters. Masters. But you haven't mastered this. I have Once again. Wait, once again. What's sin unseen, according to the Bible? When you assume leads to wickedness, right? So where is that? What, what verse is that? What verse is that? The wickedness comes out. It doesn't matter. What verse is that? Can you give me Isaiah, Isaiah 8 and 20? Have a good one. You oh, said, yeah, sir. No I remember you said you said darkness run from light, right? Uh, remember you said that? Yeah, that's walking. Thank you. Exactly. Well, that that darkness from the light. light. I don't run. I Go ahead. Run. No, you good. Yeah, you good. Job. You don't have to run. You don't have to run. This is hey, Isaiah sure. 8 and 20. Right? To the law and of the testimony, right? if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's, there's, there's no, no light, light in, them. in them. So he just said darkness run from light. If they don't speak according to this word, there is no light in them. 
everything he said was not biblical. He didn't bring out one verse. He said he he said he's the theology what masters. masters right? I said yeah, but you haven't mastered this. But he believed it to be God's word. That's complete confusion. How can you say that? How can you say that you were master in theology? You say you believe the Bible to be God's word. You haven't brought out one piece of His word, but then you're gonna sit here and spew your own senseless rhetoric. That's why the Bible said it's funny for him to say that. He said that darkness runs from light, of course, because this is the light. He set the prime example. He set the prime example, right? So with that being said, this is the light. And he well, let me tell you, brother. To it, hey, right? hey, 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 what are you trying to, what are you trying to describe? Don't even speak to me. Yeah, you 